Hi. Hi. Are you sure this course is just for two four nine nine? Yes. And you know this is the only course with this expertise across the world. No way. Yes way. Don't delay. Enroll now. Geeks learning together. Hi. Hi. Are you sure you can prepare for product based companies through this course? Yes. Sitting at home? No way. Yes way. Don't delay. Enroll now. Geeks learning together. Hi. Oi. So they got access to their job portal Geeks for Geeks for free? Yes, complimentary with the course. And you got your job through that? Me and 15000 others across the world. No way. Oh, yes way. Don't delay. Enroll now. Geeks learning together. Hello and welcome back to this amazing channel Geeks for Geeks. This is Abhinav and today we are back with our next problem of the day. So before starting, first of all, please confirm if I'm clearly audible and visible to you all. The problem today that we are taking is reversing the equation. Okay. So uh, okay. So let me share the screen and we can start our problem. So. Fine. i hope that the screen is also visible now so let's see what the problem says the problem says that given a mathematical equation that contains only numbers and some symbols addition subtraction multiplication division we have to print the reverse equation such that the equation got reversed okay but the numbers should remain same okay and there's there are no leading zeros so that's the basic thing that they are asking okay So guys, uh, uh, if you will see what the problem says, let's say that uh, guys that the equation that is given to you is like this. Let's say it's like this. So you have to reverse it, but like if you will simply reverse this string, so it will become three five one into five into five one plus zero two. But this will be wrong. This will be wrong because you can see numbers also got reversed. But you have to just reverse the ordering. Like this number should remain same. Like it should be something like the reverse equation should be one fifty three multiplied by fifteen plus twenty. That's the basic thing that you have to do. So guys, uh, if you will see how we will solve this particular problem. So guys, whenever uh, so I hope that the problem statement is not clear to everyone. Okay, please please tell if it is clear. Okay, so guys, what we will do is we'll be taking a stack. Okay, we'll be taking a stack here, and we'll be taking an answer, or we can say a reverse vector, which will be initially zero. Okay, now what we will do is that whenever like and now what we will do like let me index it. Let me index it. now we'll start from the back from i minus 1 now whenever you get a uh, get a number means uh, a digit okay uh, not a symbol in that case what we will do we'll insert it into the stack let's say 3 is there then 5 is there then 1 is there after that when we will go, we will got a operator then first of all we will take these elements from the vector and then you will have this character 
and then again the stack got empty. Again, when we have the numbers, push it. Now, before having that operator, first have that number in the reverse order, like just like that, and then have the plus sign. And at the last, also we'll have some numbers, and we will make it. And this is how you got the answer. Is this process clear to you? Is this process clear to Hello, hello guys, hello. Is this process clear to everyone? Okay, great, great, great. Amazing. So see, now we will just simply implement this thing too. It's a easy problem. You can see the tag also. So what we will be doing is that uh, first of all, we will be having a string, uh, a reverse string that will be in between C. Then we'll be having a stack of characters actually. That will be, let's say, SP, and we'll be having a I, which will start from the back. You can see we are starting from the uh, from the back side. So it will be simply n minus one, and what is n? N is the size of the string. Now uh, we'll be moving while I is greater than equal to zero, like from n minus one to zero, we'll move. So see, if if the character s of i is a addition sign or it is a subtraction sign or it is a multiplication sign or it is a division sign if it is any one of that okay in that case so in that case it's a long process else in all the else cases if you remember what we were doing i will again repeat the case in else case, what we do, if it is not an operator, if the current index is not an operator, we push it inside the stack. Simply. We push it inside the stack. So here also in the else part, we will push that particular character inside the stack. Now, when it is an operator. So when it is an operator, first of all, we'll make all the elements from a stack to that reverse string. And then that operator. So means I will do while stack is not empty. While stack is not empty. What we will do? We will take elements from the stack. Take the top element from the stack. We will add it in the reverse. And we will pop it from the stack. And after that, we will add the current element in the reverse. The current object. And at the last also, at the last also, we'll have this thing that whether if some last elements are left, just like if you will see in this particular case, in this particular case, when this will come, then one five will come. After that for 20, there is no operator present in the last. So then it will be just at the last it will come. Okay. And then we will return. So it was a, a quite easy problem oh no yeah it was a quite pretty one uh, okay some pro okay the, the problem happened here is that I am not making i minus minus. Like I have to move i every time now. Otherwise, it will just stack at the same. So, yeah, now it it's some. Um, you can see the uh, the output was right, and we are uh, now submitting. You can see that the problem is submitted successfully. So the, it was a classic problem, a really classic problem. It was uh, an easy problem. Okay, As if you can see the time and space complexity, so you can check out here that. The time complexity was also order of n because we are just iterating, and the space complexity was also order of n because we are storing in a stack, building a stack, etc. So that's the basic thing. So I hope that you have got this particular problem. Yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for it. I just missed i minus minus. Okay. So okay. 
let me share the code with you all and then let me the again next weekend uh, or next friday with the next problem of the day till then happy coding take care here is the code for you okay i hope that it is clear to everyone thank you for today's class thank you great happy coding gfg kar lo ho jayega